And a final thing I wanted to you know note on that is you should also probably at some stage, now you don't, there's two ways to think about this and I'll get back to that. You should probably at some stage have some sort of deload or, you know, reload, if you want to call them that. I actually prefer reload because deload is not a word. Um, but, you know, you probably should have periods of time where you're actually just completely washing away or trying to completely wash away all that fatigue that has been built up, right? Now, there's two ways to think about this. As I said, you can have these as planned deloads in your training. You can be like, okay, every four weeks or every five weeks or every 10 weeks or 12, whatever it is. If you're just like, I know after 10 weeks of hard training, I need to do a, a deload, right? You need to put something in there where you're going to drop off the volume, maybe drop off the intensity in terms of the weight lifted and just let your body recover a little bit more. Some people like to just you know completely not train that week, right? Now you can plan that. You can plan that ahead of time, right? And that works well, especially for athletes, right? Or someone that's like, I'm really committed to the training process. Training is a high priority in my day, right? Conversely, you could also just let life <laughs> hand you some deloads, you know, there's going to be weeks where, you know, you're just like, oh, like it's a little bit too stressful to get to the gym here, you know, or I can't do this, or I have to just go a little bit lighter or whatever. Like you could deload that way, right? Now, the issue with that is oftentimes those deloads come because you're excessively stressed, right? Yeah. And that's a little bit hard to factor in then, because remember what we're doing with the periodization is we're trying to manage that fatigue and we're trying to manage the different stressors. Like, yeah, you might've managed this one stressor in terms of your training stress is now low. Great, you needed that, you, you, high fatigue, you were high stress environment, but your life stress is now high. So you didn't actually recover. You didn't actually get any time for your like, you know, body to drop off any fatigue because you just replace the stressors you know like this would be literally like okay i i'm giving up caffeine because it's a it's a stressor but i actually just i don't know took up whatever i don't know smoking crack or something you know <laughs> it's like these are, these are not you know they're you know free base some crack free base some uh caffeine very easy to do you know um so you know you need to be thinking of these things in terms of like what is this deal supposed to be doing is taking a deload because life stress is high going to lead to the same outcome as someone who takes a deload and they literally are like, well, I actually got an extra 10 hours of sleep this week as a result of not having to get up early to go to the gym. They're probably not the same thing. They're probably not going to lead to the same amount of, you know, uh, washing away of fatigue, you know? Yeah, absolutely. And that's, you took the words out of my mouth because I was just about to, to make that point that, like when it's planned, it's far more restorative. Like, for example, last week, there's a number of things that were on my to-do list for, for triage and also even um, in, the, in the house here, just general housework. Also in exams, as we discussed. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, that didn't get done because of um, exams and just a really intense week of college work. So, like, I don't look at that and say, Ah, oh, you know, lighter week of triage work last week, lighter week of uh, jobs around the house, feeling refreshed because it was enforced upon me. So I couldn't view that as like a work deload because it, it was super stressful. There was no restoration from that. And I actually have had the same experience with holidays a number of times or traveling or something where if I didn't plan to take time off work and I had my laptop and everything and suddenly you get to the hotel, you're trying to get the Wi-Fi, it's super slow, work is taking three times as long, and it gets to the end of your three-day trip or whatever, and you're saying, oh, God, I've so much work that's accumulated. I was supposed to get this done. I didn't get it done. Like, you can look at that and say, oh, yeah, a few days of doing less work. But in reality, it wasn't because you hadn't actually planned it. Whereas if you had planned it in advance, you end up, you know, the laptop's at home, you're not taking it out, you're not doing work your mind is free, you're able to relax, and now you're ready to get back to work when you get home. It's the exact I same. Never, I can never do that because I'm actually the CEO and the CFO and you do nothing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Face of, face of triage. And so, what, yeah, when you're, when you're it's, it's the exact same when it comes to training because if you, if you had a, a week off training because life was just really intense and you weren't getting enough sleep and you weren't able to get to the gym because you had this, that, and the other on, that's just not very restorative. So do like plan these things every now and then and be very deliberate about it. This is what I always say to clients when we plan deloads, I say to them, um, not only do I want your training to be a bit easier this week, 
but I also want you to take like take be much quicker in the gym get in and out and I want you to allocate extra time to something that's restorative so along with them doing a little bit less training I'll say at the weekend I want you to pick uh, some sort of activity I don't care what it is whatever you like be deliberate plan it and go and enjoy yourself the same can be said for you know food at the weekend go and enjoy a nice meal I want you to be able to take this week to relax to feel like you haven't been having to push yourself or stress yourself and that's true restoration then rather than just being enforced upon you which is why i like to think of them as reloads because yep. that's more that's sense where you're like i'm actually first of all look deload is not a word right just think of it in terms of a gun would you ever deload a gun no you would unload a gun you know how do you take weights off a bar you unload the weight from a bar you do not deload a weight from a bar right so it's the same thing here how would you I was going to say the word, add bullets to a gun. You would reload the gun, right? Um, so it's the same thing with training. You know, we want to reload. So you want to come back ready to go. You don't want to come back and go, fuck, I'm actually so stressed because, you know, X, Y, and Z. You want to come back and go, I am ready to absolutely tear ahead with this training block. I'm ready. I'm actually, the last three days, I've been fucking itching to get into the gym. Like that's what you want to feel at the end of a deload. You know, you want to feel ready to go. You're reloaded. Right. Um, and again, there's a number of ways you can do this, you know, reducing the amount of volume you do, reducing the weight that you use, some combination of the two of those things, reducing the amount of training you do. You could just be like, oh, I'm going to do two training sessions. And you could also just completely take a week off the gym. That's becoming quite in vogue these days, especially uh, with people who train in more of a, a top set back off set uh, approach, because obviously that's a quite fatiguing uh, approach especially if you know how hard to train and uh yeah you want to basically come back from that reload restored there's another way you can do this which i want to bring on to just the kind of final point of this and we did touch on it a few times and that is another way to be restorative is to actually just increase your calories during that reload you know so it's like you actually have a little bit more energy substrate now obviously the fantastic thing would also be to increase your sleep but that's impractical for most people because their work you know makes them have a schedule and you know life does as well like your kids don't care that you're doing a reload and they're like yeah daddy i'm waking you up at fucking 3 a.m anyway you know 